WUSA 9's Evan Kozlov joins us now live in Bloomingdale, that yoga district where she taught. And Evan, you sat down with a lot of her friends today. That's right. Good evening. And you know, she was actually scheduled to lead a yoga class right about now at 515. Now instead, her friends are gathering for a vigil to talk about her legacy. There are the two lovers. We were in our early to mid-20s at the time. Stephen Carpenter is showing us photos of his friend Trisha. Over some 20 years, the two have been on stage a lot, and often they've been together. They've played young lovers, married couples, even siblings. He says that's made the last 24 hours pretty difficult. The loss, the monumental loss. Um, because we worked so much together over the years, and because this theater company has a core group of people who've worked together, we're really a family. I think I'll miss her laugh. She had this really great laugh. Yeah. Meanwhile, more emotions here at Imagination Studios in Bethesda, where Trisha gave acting lessons. Director Kate Breyer says she wasn't just teaching the kids how to act on stage, but how to act in life. I think her legacy is that she brought so much beauty in so many ways to so many people in the world and to our community, and we're lucky that we got to see her. As for her other passion, the yoga community in D.C. is mourning the loss of a beloved teacher. Jasmine Tarazi founded Yoga District and spoke of what Trisha left behind. Her living legacy that will never pass is that you have to live a life of love. You know, you ha you are the light. We're all the light. So she she exists within everybody, I think. So she, you know, that kind of love doesn't go away. All right, so at 6.15, there's going to be a candlelit procession to a nearby park. That's where there's going to be yet another vigil. Before I send it back, I'm sure many of you guys saw that double rainbow this morning. Well, many of her friends saw it as well. They say they imagine that being her way of putting a positive spin on a really tragic situation. Reporting here in Bloomingdale, Evan Kozlov, WUSA 9. Thank you so much, Evan.